All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have a real quick tutorial in Fusion 360, the align feature. Kind of a goofy feature, actually. I'm not really sure its purpose, other than kind of like the move feature, just to move parts around compared to in relations to another body or component. So to demonstrate it, I have a sphere, cylinder, and a cube. To find it is just in the modify tab, we'll drop down, and it is right here, the align feature. It also is a little bit finicky and a little bit hard to get used to, but it's gonna prompt you first to select a component or a body. Since there are only bodies in this file, we're gonna go with bodies. And it's gonna prompt you just to select a from and to. The from is what are you wanting to move to what point? So just to demonstrate a little bit, well, you can select a whole face. You can select parts of a face, the corners and the mid planes of the line, or mid, mid points of lines endpoints of lines and you can see it's actually you can choose which direction you're looking at based off of hovering from the previous plane you can do edges and of like circles centers faces that are round kind of like this one which is actually just selecting that dead center of the cylinder and then for a sphere it's just going to be selecting the center of a sphere um, so let's just select right here and right there and you can see it has created a census the, around the circle. Instead of doing a tangent line, it has taken that edge of the box and made it more of an axis, if you will. Um, and you've also gotten two more options. You can flip it, and you can also angle, which I, it's not the greatest. You have 90 degree angle every time you, you or rotation every time you click it. Um, yeah, kind of a, I'm not really keen on the angle feature and the flip is is nice to have but whatever so we'll click ok though and it is now in reference to the cylinder now this is not locking it in place it's still very very much free free um, you can move it around freely um, and to kind of showcase that we'll just do modify again and we are click on a line and let's click on the center of this this face and the center of the sphere and you can see same thing it's plopped right there um, sometimes you will get the angle feature or option, sometimes you will not, just so you're aware. I have had a hard time figuring out really when you would and when you wouldn't, but we'll click OK, and you've just dropped it right there. And that's really it. It's a real simple feature just to kind of help you move things around in relations to other objects, bodies, or components in your file. Uh, very similar to SolidWorks' assembly process um, in building relationships, but a little bit different and not nearly as powerful. Uh, but there it is. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to see them in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And as always, I will see you guys next time and keep modeling. Bye.